Hey everyone, welcome to Pop XP. And before the show starts, make sure to click that subscribe button and click the bell to get notifications when we go live and we upload awesome new content. And don't forget, if you can, make sure to share our stream on all your social media outlets. We appreciate it, and thanks for helping us grow the Pop XP channel. Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's the brain of the mainframe here now, Scott, with the Pop XP, and tonight we have a special unveiling with a special guest. And we're gonna be unveiling something very intimate. Maybe the, the structure, the bones. We're gonna find out what the Tucci's are made of. Billy, Debbie, how are we doing tonight? Hi. Doing great. Very nervous, I'm, I'm, well, no, I'm not nervous. I've been anxious all day, excited. You look a, li a little bit sweaty. Yeah, well, the thing is, is, you know, I grew up in a very, very Italian family, like uber Italian, first generation Italian, my mother's side is, and, in high school, in mother's father, father's side yes, is. yeah, well, right. So, well, on my mother's mother's side too. Anyway, so I, there's French. so so there's French. My they, my mother says there's French in there too. So so oui, basically, oui. well, why don't we introduce Your our guest? Why don't we shh, why don't we introduce our guest? Let's bring in the king of the pop. DNA doctor, the analyzer, <laughs> Mr. Thomas Lennon. By the way. <laughs> Thank you, guys. I just for the record, I am first of all friends with Blevins and Billy and the whole squad. You guys, it's good to see you. Second of all, I actually am Batman's doctor in The Dark Knight Rises. Yes, yes. we know. I'm also Cherry's doctor in the new movie Cherry that's in theaters right now. A little quick plug before we do Two Cheese DNA. That's all awesome. All right, you're also the author of the Ronan Boyle series. Oh, thanks. It's true. Very much. It's third true. One comes out, uh, the third one comes out in November. But I, I think it'd be fun. We're going to tease the Tucci's uh, results, which I have here. I wish I had my outfit from Gotham General Hospital to put on for this this bit, guys. But just for fun, um, Tucci, would you guys would you guys like to see my ancestry.com? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> yes. Great. Here's Europe. Can we go big with with Tom Nile? Not you, Tom. Yeah, One hundred percent. Um. It, uh, <laughs> It's a pretty small. Uh, <laughs> um, you know how when, uh, when dogs get too inbred, they say like, "Hey, this is not good for the breed." Like, this dog is now going to be like dim-witted, and like it just there's nothing there, guys. That's it. That's it. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> that um. So the thing about you know they're like hey you got to really make sure you know like keep mixing up the bloodstreams it's better you don't want to uh, keep inbreeding and stuff like that you know and the ancient Irish used to literally marry their sisters and stuff and still it's mostly cousins probably but yeah you know hopefully that's, um that's that's me guys hey, hey some of us some of us have hot cousins what are you gonna do I the, that, the bummer is I got <laughs> I got some pretty good look now um so Billy I, I think I'd like to just tease this with. What have you been told is true? Okay, so thank you, Thomas. So I'm going to do a weird buzzer sound every time you're wrong without telling you too much about it. Okay, so every so I have grown up, and and you can attest to this, my my yep. sweet, is that I grew grew up in a very very Italian family. Uh huh. My I, my my father was killed a few months before I was born. Yep. So uh, so then my mother married Tucci, who was my stepfather. And I was raised thinking I was a Tucci up until high school when my mother said, we're going to go to the diner. And I'm like, oh, boy, what does that mean? By myself. I mean, we're from a family of six kids. And I'm the one. I'm the only I'm the only one that blonde. Or I was blonde, right? Am I still blonde? No, you're, I, I still consider you blonde. Yeah. Thank yeah. you, my friend. Yeah. Uh, I'm the only one that played sports. I'm the only one that went to college. Well, those uh, seem to have catch, but okay. But so I do right? really, and, I, and I'm, I have a big mouth, and I'm the shortest one by far. By far. By far. They're all giants. So I uh, I knew something was a little off. So my mother told me basically the story that my father was killed of, while she was pregnant with me a few months before I was born. And, you know, I'm not a Tucci. I'm an Elliot. So going back now. So then I'm like, oh, OK. And she told me that I'm English. Well, we were in London a few years ago and I met someone. A Scotsman came up. Well, if you want to say that about that. My dream is that I've always wanted to be Scottish, Tom. And uh -huh. there was a Scotsman who said, mm -hmm. Elliot, you're not English. Because I through Ancestry.com, I've met some cousins. Sure. Uh, I because I have no con I have no connection whatsoever with anyone in 
the Elliott family. Sure. So your brother, uh, your brother Vinny's watching. My brother Vinny's watching. Okay, so my brother Vinny's watching. So by the, the way, if you, if you ever have a brother Vinny that's watching anything, and your brother's Vinny. We know some of your DNA test already. <laughs> yeah, right, right. Well, we have right. Vinny. We have There's Vinny. Only Joey. folks that have a brother, Vinny. Yeah, we have Vinny, Joey, Regina, Philip. Okay, and so some and, a little bit of a spoiler and, word. and William. Okay. Minor spoiler. You know, so I'm very anxious. I'm very excited, uh, and I'm a little, a little nervous. But sure. you know, it's this is a life changing thing for me. Believe it or not, I know a lot of people don't know that, but I've always been known, right, honey, as Billy Tucci. You know, and you're and still going to be known as Billy. What it says, it's what it says in Comic Con. If you became Billy at Elliot, you would have to stop becoming a art or stop being an artist and become a dancer. Yeah, exactly. Good. Well, let me tell you something. Or an R and B singer. singer. And I will an challenge R&B Thomas too. Lennon to a dance fight. At Comic Con, yeah. when they have it again, they're gonna lose. I'm very excited about that. I'll I tell you what now, Billy. Thomas Lennon, I think I, yeah. I think do I will. Wanna, do we want to? Do we want to break it down? Because we could break it down. Let's break it down. You're gonna break it down by a plausible meter. So here's my son Matthew, because he's curious to find out what <laughs> he Matthew. is too. If yeah. he is my son, here's okay, the, this is the applause meter that I've just invented. <laughs> and there are eight. You have eight categories of of ethnicity in your DNA, Billy Elliot. Eight. eight. You have eight, eight. categories. Worse That's than more me. than you. Yes, worse than me. <laughs> you are. Uh, some of them are stronger than others. Coming in. Coming in. Dead eighth place. <laughs> with a, a middling two percent. Two of your dino, dino of your dino DNA. Yes. Two <laughs> percent of your dino DNA. I'll ask you this, Billy. Do you want to build a snowman? Do you want to build a snowman? Two percent of Billy's Norwegian. What? Nice. Why am I so sure? That's why I'm so sure. Two percent Norwegian. We're gonna put that up in the box right now. That means we're Viking. There's hope for you. We're, we're, so we're Vikings. Vikings. You got two. You came in at a strong two percent. I'll drink to that. Norwegian. Drink Talk about that. drink to that. Oh, we finally have something in common. Yeah. <laughs> yes, we finally have something in Debbie common. Debbie and I have something in common. She's Norwegian. Well, to, Nor- to Norway. To Norway. To Norway. And now oh, you we move a, a little closer into, uh, you have 1% more of this <gasps> than you are Norwegian. Talking in it at a solid 3%. 3%? At a 3%. I will ask you this, Billy Herr Elliot. Wie geht's mit Ihnen? Ja, 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 ich liebe mein Kleider auf, wenn ich German bin. Ja. 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 3% Germanic here. Thank you, thank you, my friend. 3%. Now, by the way, this is tied. This is in a dead heat. You are in a dead heat with another part of your DNA at 3%. Uh, an area I don't know a ton about. I don't even really know enough about it to make a great bit out of this next percentage. But you have 3%. I have bits for everything else. You have 3%. Oh, that's good. The Balkans. Oh, oh, that's where you're that's, from. I might have some Lithuanian in me. You got three. Oh, that's the Baltics. That's, the that's, the Baltics. that's, that's the Baltics. Oh, I'm a yeah. Lithuanian. If I know a smooth talking Lithuanian lady, if you don't have some in you, you're going to later tonight. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> 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 I'll kids. I got to do bits. Okay, now we start getting into bigger numbers, guys. I'm German. Holy shit, that's awesome. <laughs> you're, you're 3% German. 3%. Yeah. We start getting into big. We're going to put up some bigger numbers coming up pretty soon. Now, here's one that you're going to be very ashamed of, and I don't know how you'll explain this to other people. And I know you're going to have to live with this. Uh oh. This is four percent. We're getting into bigger numbers. All right. Okay. (laughs) Bigger. Whoa. Four percent of you is from the classy part of Italy, northern Italy. Ooh. Um. Now, this is we're talking about the Lago Maggiore, Lake Como, the kind of places that George Clooney has residences. Yes. Uh, 
This is the part of Italy that they act like they're Swiss. They don't talk with their hands. They don't have a lot of moxie, if you know what I mean. From like Fair Verona. Verona. So we may be, I may be a descendant of Romeo. You are literally a gentleman of perhaps Verona. Yes. Here, here. Well, I'll drink to the Northern Italian, Italian Club, here. my friend. Northern hey. Italian clocking in at a solid 4%. Yeah, can we go four? Can we make this bigger? Because I want four. No, no, you'll see. There's a couple of big ones coming up. It's it's locked in. He can't just add numbers. I'm not allowed to add. I can't. <laughs> no, 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 no. Can we, can we make that bigger? The stream wants our stream. Bigger. I want our stream all equal, bigger. Now, there's a very interesting detail, which is you did uh, yours with, I believe, with uh, um, it's called uh, Ancestry.com. Yes, I did. Yes. Okay, because mine with 23 and Me, uh, I would never call them the British Isles because I'm a uh, proud Irish person. They refer to the islands of that part of the world as the British Isles. And 23andMe does not divide up the DNA of those countries, mm. which is very interesting. Mm. Uh, but I noticed that uh, your ancestry, doc this is very important for what's coming next. Uh, they do divide up your DNA between a couple of different uh, nations that are uh, built on two islands that people refer to as the British Isles. Um, so here's a big one. Uh, Clocking in at your lowest number of that, uh, of those islands, 6% of you is England or British. 6%. Wait a minute. My Six. whole family's, wait, only 6% yeah. is England? I'm supposed hold to be. Hold your, hold your vote, but hold your vote. We got to get through this, Billy. So 6% of you is considered to be English. Now, hold on. Hold on. Here's where we start putting up really big numbers. 16% of you, I'm really proud of, 16% of you is Irish. 16. You're 16% Irish. But right now, keep in mind, that puts you I'm 16% Irish? That's huge. Oh, my God. Oh, the plot twist. Billy, these two numbers put you at 22% of what my DNA is, which is those those little islands. That You're 22% uh, English, English and Irish. In Ireland. And now wait. How can it I gets, only wait? It gets bigger. There's more. Gets bigger. There's more. There's way more. more. That is way more. Because twenty-four percent of you, not counting those other two parts of the British Isles, twenty-four percent of your DNA oh, no. is Scotland. No, you're not going to lie. Oh my God! I'm sorry, Debbie. <laughs> Don't just say that. Don't you wait so a minute. Between, between Scotland, Ireland, oh, yes, and sure. you have uh, Scottish, you're almost you're over 30, uh, 30 you're thirty six percent of what would be considered the British Isles. Thirty six. But, but what's the biggest part of that? Scotland by a lot. Ah, Scottish, not telling us. Did he just throw his chest? Scottish, <laughs> Scottish, like, you, know, you, know, you, you know he's a Scot by the way he threw the. <laughs> Lord Ravener said Billy <laughs> McTucci. He threw the boy like a proper cave okay. across. What, what did I tell you when we wanted to get married, Thomas Lennon? Of Billy course they get married. Billy yes, they get married. Awesome. A quarter century ago, what did I tell you when we got married? What did I tell tell the world? Oh my God, this is the greatest news I've ever had in my life. Tell him. You think I'm kidding? Tell him. Tell him. Forty, Billy. You're forty-four percent. Yeah, of the area that most people would consider the British Isles. Dividing up that DNA, by the way, gets real dodgy because you're talking about a very, very small landmass with some real specific people from. And no more underwear, Billy, is very accurate. Mm -hmm. Oh my God! I uh, tell tell the story, please. He wanted to wear a kilt when we got married, and I said no because he wasn't Scottish. And I always, what have I always wanted to be? My whole life? What have I told you my whole life I wanted to be? He always wanted to be Scottish. I always wanted to be like, who's laughing I, now, man? I, I did buy I'm you a, a quilt. I did buy you a kilt. You did buy me a, a, a utility kilt, and holds it holds thirty. Billy, I got you. There's more, Billy. First of all, yeah, Billy, there's way more. Now that you're Scottish, by the way, Scottish. Do you know where the pleats go on the kilt? I don't, but I'm. You're I'm going but the back. I, I, but I am really to land. Flat, flat part in the front. We'll talk about this at Comic Con. Okay. Flat, flat part in the front, pleats in the back, sporin, which you'll need, goes in the front. You need a knife in the sock. Yeah, I got. Boots. You, need, you got that? Yeah, okay. 
Oh, gave me that. Get Perfect. That. That's exactly. You'll need something just like that down in the sock. And then, uh, of course, obviously, your balls should just be bouncing around like crazy. Yeah, well, why not free ball yeah. all the way? So could could we wear kilts at Comic-Con? Of course really we can. Yeah, of course. Of course we can wear kilts at Comic-Con because we're men. <laughs> like, people dress up as robots. You're yeah, like, yeah, can I wear a kilt? Yeah. It's like, well, can I wear a kilt? kilt. He said only cowboys and women. Only robots, men. Billy, right. and superheroes. All right. Oh and God. now this has been exciting and fun, and there's a part of you that I feel I can relate to. And then... <laughs> then there's the elephant in the room. Uh oh. There's the thing that we have to talk about. I don't think, I think if you've met Billy Tucci <laughs> or Billy Elliot, there's a piece of his DNA that would, that you could probably pick up from space. <laughs> um, I think you could probably be on a satellite and you would say, oh, so that part's definitely true. <laughs> And, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Billy Elliot Tucci is 42%. No wonder you're such an absolute mess. 40, <laughs> 44% of you is like a Scottish murderous Highlander. Right. The other 42% of you is 100% not just Southern Italy, but Sicily, it seems like. <laughs> 42% Sicilian. The nature's perfect killing machine. <laughs> I've got Scotland and I've got You're the Scottish Sicilian. So I'm a killer. You're basically, you're basically a, a weaponized human being. <laughs> Thank you. And, and and I love you for it. And I love you. And 40, this is great. 42% Italy slash. They seem to have uh, uh, pinned you to very specifically to Sicily. Yeah. So you, you couldn't get made because you're only half Sicilian. Oh, Do you want me to post the actual results here, yeah, Billy? Definitely. I love, well, I love how Tom Lennon said that Billy 42% of the time is 100% Sicilian. Yeah. <laughs> Again. Oh, thank you, Tom. Wow. Oh, so here it is. Let's see. Awesome. Here's the results. Look at that. So that's it. Where's my glasses? There we are. Oh, look, there's maps. Oh, I'm from Canada. Nova Scotia. No, 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 that's not. No, no, no. Yeah. This is Canada. Here. That's this where is, your people. That's where your people settled. That's totally. Is, oh, yeah. they, are we Newfies? Yeah, yeah. Newfoundland. New England, bro. Yeah, that's New England. Oh my god, yeah, but that's not your. But that's not your yeah. past. That's where. No, you, no, no. That's where you. Right well, it is. It's where you kind of drift. Oh. Uh, yeah. I'm sure. And the Balkans is English territory anyway, so that's kind of English too, right? No, the Balkans is Albania and. Uh, but it's isn't it owned by England? No, that, that's Balkans down there. Look, see that purple? That's Balkans. That, I know. That is Balkans, yeah. That's, that's yeah. Not English. It should be though, and it will be once I become a member of Parliament. Oh boy. MP Bill Tucci. Oh well, awesome. thank you so much, Thomas. This is oh fantastic. gosh, you guys, Bill, Billy. It was fun to see. And I gotta say, as soon as I saw that my friend Billy Tucci was mostly Scottish and Sicilian, I was like, that makes sense. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, that's so funny because my mother says I'm French. We should call my mom. No, I know no. I go. We should definitely call call Yaya. Don't and let's call her oh, guys, <laughs> this stuff is so dangerous because like, so <laughs> my wife's she's not watching. Jenny's dad is positive that he was part like Cherokee, uh, Native American Indian. Okay. Positive. And he dresses up. He's got a war bonnet that he wears, oh and it's God. part of his personality. And he's so proud of it. And we've done all the tests, and it's absolutely not true. Oh, God. I love that. I love that you whispered when you said that. What do we? What do we say? It's his favorite thing about himself. Yeah. Is his cool you thing. Tell him. You can't tell him. You can't tell him. You just don't yeah. tell him, right? You just don't say anything. Make up like you know, Photoshop. Uh, a DNA result and be like, it's yeah. true. Yeah, it's true. Well, frame his it. father thought yeah, you were know. all German, right? You grew up thinking you were all German and you're very mostly Slavic. Poland, Lithuania. Well, that's because my, my father's side isn't all German. So right, he thought he was. So my mother was correct. My mother's always thought she was. Do you have your results, Poland. Debbie? Yeah, yeah I text. Debbie, I, you sent you, I sent you Debbie's results. Can you put them up? Let's see them. Yeah. You want to put? Me? Oh, that's me. Yeah, we're gonna put you up right now, Matthew. Hey, it's me. Hey, hey guys. Hang on. So, Matthew, do you want to read what mommy is? No. Okay. <laughs> so, starting from the bottom. Thanks. My wife is okay. Now, you grew up thinking you were Polish and German, right? 
I was raised Pooch. to believe I was half German, a quarter Polish, and a quarter Lithuanian. Now, there's only one thing here that I'm jealous of, and we'll get to that. So, 3% coming in at sixth place yep. is that you are 3%, Deborah, England and Northwestern Europe. So, you have some English in you. Okay, that's cool. 4% is what I'm really jealous at. Hey, Billy, Billy, can I just play something out? What? Because of your, Billy, I just want to point out, because of your Balkans heritage, I actually think that you're allowed when talking about your wife to do the Borat voice if you want. And that's not, true. You can't get canceled because you've got yeah. full one. You've got you're full allowed. one. You're allowed. Yeah, I can do those jokes. I can you do, can do You can say, Jock Shamash, my wife, she is a nice. Uh, <laughs> all of that. <laughs> if anybody nice. gets mad, just tell them Tom Lennon said it was cool. Very yeah. yeah. nice. <laughs> so, Jock Shamash. So, okay. Very nice, yes. All right, so you are 4% from Wales. You're Welsh. Ooh, now, the Welsh. Welsh, if anyone knows, are the 97 soldiers that held off 4,000 Zulus at Rourke Drift. Rourke Drift, if anyone saw the film, the great film Zulu. Michael Caine's so first movie, guys. Caine's first movie. percent of you is Sweden. You're 5% Swedish. Yeah, Swedish. Yeah, Swedish. You are, you are 28%, we're getting up there now, German. So it's not. Yeah. Ah, yeah. It's 28. A third. Another 29%. Means you're from the Baltics, which means that's your Lithuanian, right? So your she can do the boy. Thing, your number one thing of thirty-one percent is Eastern Europe and Russia. Mm -hmm. That's why she mm -hmm. had got these great cheekbones and her, those beautiful. Well, I would say your 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 <laughs> DNA does explain why you look sort of like a Pixar Russian princess. We get it. It's like, <laughs> there's like a weird, like it's not. Yeah, it's not like so far fetched. Yep, it says Anastasia. It says, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, Czech Republic, Slovakia, Poland, and Lithuanian. But the majority of you is from Malo Polska, Polska and Svi Bilson Kevich could pronounce this. Sweden? No, no, Svi <laughs> Svitok Vixi, Poland, oh. which is Western Poland because I looked it up. So you're from West so Southwestern Poland. There you go. So you are a mess. This kid, you are a Heinz 57. And I want to know what happened to all of Matthew's hair. He well, cut it off. He had a great, look how great it looks. He had a great haircut. Did you? Yeah. You look good, kid. Yeah. Yep, yeah, I did. Ollie did that this year. Ollie had the like. 31% is. He chopped it off. Chopped it all off. Yeah. Lithuania yeah. And Lithuania. I did that too, and they took off too much here. But well, it'll, it'll grow back. Part of my it'll, it'll grow back. Kind of. This could be my yeah. mother. You know what's also funny, Thomas? I think that Matthew and Oliver could be cousins. Oh no, they they have that look. For right. sure. well, that's, by the way, a weird piece of my DNA that doesn't show up in because twenty three and Me is a little, it doesn't break down the British Isles specifically, which is weird. But um, my mother is a McShee of Scotland. There's they were Scottish mercenaries that were imported to Ireland because they were so unbelievably violent and bloodthirsty. They were like, hey, let's bring in these McSheehees. They were called Gallo Glass Warriors. What? And they brought them in because they were like, you're like, oh, the McSheehees will kill anything that moves. It, and then I was like, wow, what a crazy backstory. But then I realized, oh, no, I've met my aunts and my uncles. And that makes perfect sense. The <laughs> <laughs> they're like, some of them are the angriest people I've ever heard of. <laughs> it's, in, it's in the genes. Now, Thomas, yeah. me being, what, 16% Irish. Yeah. What does one do who's 16% Irish on St. Patty's Day? Cry. It, of course you do. What you do is you, you go, I, first of all, Billy, you go, is there a place where you can go stare at the sea? And think, you literally have to <laughs> what you do is you'll go, you first what you do is you go look at the sea and you write the saddest play you can think of. <laughs> and then as soon as you finish that, you come back in and you throw it right on the peat fire and you say, this is trash. Uh, nobody should ever hear a play this that's this sad. And then you think, oh, I wish I had not. And then you'll cry about, oh, why did I burn my play? <laughs> <laughs> my mother, I burned the play. And you say, oh, shut your mouth. And you say, no, it's the best play I ever wrote. And you threw it in this peat fire. In the yeah. peat fire. So can I, now, can we go to Kavanaugh's tomorrow, our, our, our local Irish haunt, for a, for an Irish lunch and a pint of uh, Guinness and a whiskey? No, 
Hell yes, you can. Well, am Irish. It's my first. Same I'll, I'll make you corned beef and cabbage. Yeah, I would argue it's your. I would your responsibility. Yeah, it's I, never, responsibility. I, I think I think it would be un -Amer It would be un-American if you didn't do it. Yeah. My mother made ham growing up for St. Patsy's Day. Ham. Um, yeah, I'll she say this. Made, uh, she made ham. Everything. I don't know if I told you guys this, but so yeah, I'm a I'm 100 Irish. I'm an Irish citizen, and the Canadian government put me in quarantine. Here in oh Vancouver God. for 14 days. Oh my gosh. And guess what day somebody in the Canadian government didn't do the math? Because guess what day I get out of quarantine? Oh, oh St. Patty's Day. <laughs> it's like, you know, when they're trying to make the Hulk mad? Yeah. And they keep him like locked up and they throw rocks at him and stuff. And they... yeah, the Canadian <laughs> government was like, they're green for St. Patrick's Day. They're like, we'll just. Here's what we'll do. No problem. We'll just keep the, the Irish guy in a room right until St. Patrick's Day, and then we'll just let him out in Vancouver and see what happens. Oh, <laughs> yeah, let's hey, see what happens. Hey, well, Billy. If, if we don't mind, can we add? We have father him. is here. Can we add him? Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Graham, Graham Nolan, Nolan. co-creator of Bane. So, wait a minute. Are you William O'Tucci? Which oh, is well, it left? Uh, well, He's William Otucci. He's William Tucci of the of, oh, the, of the Scottish Highlands. I'm he's, Scottish. He's William. But, he's yeah. actually worse than I am. Our poor children are but, literally a yeah. Heinz 57. Like they have 57. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but what? But 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 but. As Thomas Lennon told us, and Thomas, I don't know if you know Graham Nolan. Graham Nolan, Thomas. I'm, a, I'm certainly a fan. Yep. Hello, I was Thomas. literally doing a Bane bit just yesterday in quarantine with my masks on. <laughs> awesome. So Graham, I found out Thomas, what am I? Am I 16% Irish? You're 16% Irish, but it could be there's a solid chance that it's actually a wee bit more because a wee bit more. I feel like the British part is just a poser. <laughs> <laughs> well, more, so aside from Italian, I'm Scottish. You're the you're, you're a perfect storm of you're two. Everything you've ever been. You are the mafia in one package. I have a Jewish. I would love to be Jewish because I really wanted menorah. But you know what? That's okay. I, I'm renouncing my Irish heritage right here on this show live. That's all I'm saying. You. I'm I'm going full on Dago now. I'm I'm going to be Italian. Graham Graham Nolan uh, Nolini. <laughs> hey everyone, it's Graham Nolini. How you doing, you rigging up me? Hey, what up, man? Hey, uh, Graham Nolini. How you doing? How's your matter? How's your matter? Graham Nolucci and Thomas a lemon a jello. Thomas a lemon a jello. Lemon a jello. That's why. Get got so why. It's the only thing. Now, Tom, now, Tom, are you from the Northeast? Originally, no, I'm from Chicago. Okay, born in Chicago, Graham, but Graham, you're from Long Island. Yeah. You remember those commercials of Peter Lemon Jello? Remember Channel Eleven would run the thing of Mood Rock with Peter Lemon Jello. He was this guy set up by the mob to be like the next Sinatra. I don't remember that. Oh my God, his commercials were everywhere. Thomas was in The Dark Knight Rises, so there you go. Yeah, true. Oh, you were? Oh, yes, of course. Oh, I'm, uh, I'm Batman's yeah. doctor in that like, movie. There's no cartilage in his knee, bro. There's no cartilage. You think that gives you power over me? <laughs> <laughs> well, this this was fantastic, guys. Thank you so awesome. much. I gotta go because I gotta do. Uh, okay, so so now, Graham, you. you being in the states, Tom is in isolation and under COVID lockdown up in the Great White North because of his Irish citizen citizenry. So, yeah. what can us free Irish do tomorrow for St. Patty's Day? Oh, Daddy, you got to get the corned beef going. Got to get the corned beef going. Some soda bread. Soda bread? What yes. Is soda bread is the soda best. Bread. Soda, bread. soda bread is great. Soda bread you could just live on. It's oh. like, what if there was bread that was also a little bit of it was cake? Yes. Yes. A little bit of it is just a cake. Oh, I thought that was a Supreme Court justice. Great. <laughs> so, okay. So, so now, okay. So I can go to Kavanaugh's. You and I can go to Kavanaugh's tomorrow and have a pint and an Irish whiskey. Irish. Yes. Yes. But I just like, just yeah. like get a nice Irish glass of Tully. You're Irish by law now. I got this beautiful yeah. green eyed beauty here. So let's go have lunch. And I, I've never seen a Russian princess from today. Pixar. Because I, I, I have an 11 <laughs> As long as you. Guys, as long as you. The, the only way you know that you're doing St. Patrick's Day right 
if by one o'clock in the afternoon you're dizzy and crying about <laughs> about everything that you did wrong, then you then you know you nailed it. That's the real DNA test. Is at some point St. Patrick's Day afternoon, you're like, I gotta lie down because I'm sweaty and I'm hot from the meat and the booze. Yeah, meat sweats. Oh, Jesus, yeah. I'm so sorry. Oh my god, why did I say this sort of thing? Why would I ever do it? I don't oh god, I'm so I'm the worst. <laughs> I'm the worst. You know what I'm gonna do? I think I'm gonna do as soon as I feel better, I'm gonna go look at the ocean. I'm gonna write the saddest play that anybody ever heard in <laughs> <laughs> your life. Billy. Billy, you got to go out uh, before you go over to Kavanaugh's. Go out to your cigar shop and get a filthy hooligan a to filthy smoke. Hooligan. I, yeah. can get that. I can get that. I can do that. Yeah, get yourself a filthy hooligan. Pour yourself a nice what? glass of Tullymore. And Tullymore nice, yeah. Oh, gentlemen, as two Irishmen, what I, does 16% constitute? Yeah. Am I an Irishman? I think so, yes. Yeah. Yes. I'm an Irishman. Well, if, if Tom thinks so, then yeah. I'm going to have to go along. Now there's fights in bars. Great. You always did. Oh, you stop. <laughs> um, and now what? you know why. Graham, can I show you my, my quick bit from yesterday when I was locked in quarantine? Just yes, so yes, please. Yes. See if I can get it up. You choose quarantine back there, but I was born here. Oh, wait. It was, I was doing the you weird. Choose, you choose quarantine back there. Was born here. <laughs> <laughs> that was quarantine bane. That's great. Quarantine. That's awesome. Hotel quarantine. <laughs> um, Tucci, now you're uh, 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 the rest of my life with you, Tucci, is you and me wearing kilts and me trying to forget the part of you that's Sicilian that I can't remember. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, I got to tell you, I am so excited, though. I got to tell you that I'm Scottish. That's my second thing, Graham. Is I'm a town. I'm Sicilian. I'm not a town. Well, Northern Italy. That's the Lacourt. So from Northern Italy, four percent. How much percentage were you Italian? Forty-four. Yeah. Um, no, there's four percent Northern. There's a little percent of Northern, but the the main the main ingredient, as you might have guessed from the hand gestures and oh, the gosh. rage and the volume, the is rage? Uh, Sicily. Yeah. So you know what that means. I'm forty-six percent Italian. If you do the math on that. It was, yeah, 40, uh, what, what 40, was it? 42. No, 40, it was 42. 42%. 42% Sicilian. Well, well, plus the Northern Italy. Right. Yeah, but they're not I Italian. Mean, it's only <laughs> yeah, but we also own the Balkans. The Balkans are Italian. Wait a minute. Where's your sub-Saharan African? There is none of that. <laughs> Everybody's oh. got sub-Saharan oh. African. We all came from the same My wife has some. And Thomas. Your wife has some? No, Jenny, no. Jenny's got some. I I got I was blown away that I had none. Well, Tom, I'm gonna I'm gonna bring this up to you now. All of us came from Sub-Saharan Africa, right? Okay. But Except Tom, me. I have to ask you this. He's Tom, apparently, now, Tom, <laughs> he's not just a hundred. Is that real? Hundred percent. He's a hundred percent British and Irish. He's an owl trainer. He's all like just no, there. Now, Tom, can I ask you a question? Yeah. Did, did did your wisdom teeth come in? Um, no. <gasps> Tom's wisdom teeth didn't come in. No, they Tom, kind of I think you and I are. Ways. I think I that you and I are. We are Homo Superior. That we, we are, are newer people. We are. are huh. we, my wisdom teeth never came in either. So people don't yeah. need wisdom teeth anymore. Wait, like what does that. that mean? Yeah, I mean due I to the pandemic. Mine never took a pandemic. The mail system has been messed up. No, I think people that have wisdom teeth, you know, you guys are used to growing up eating bark and stuff. Thomas and I, we are the new X-Men. Well, right. I would love to say that, but I'm also like barely five foot eight. And then um and you will you stop? No one's talking about five foot mostly eight. like we're not talking about that. We're we but but spiritually Tom and I are six two. Right, but I'm mostly confused all the time and I cry every day. So <gasps> so does Bluffin. So does <laughs> that means if you cry every day, you know that means you're Irish. Billy Billy goes up to the rides at the park and and it says you must be this tall. And he's like, Well, I can't get on there because spiritually I'm six. No, wait, I'm five eight two Blevins. I'm not. I'm not <laughs> he walks around with a big phone book. The point is that if you were so bad, you wouldn't just. So we don't need the big table. Like, brains. Hey, so Billy. Uh, I got my, I got my, I got my DNA tested, and this is how it came back. Oh, jeez, oh, you, you heartless bastard! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how 
can you be an Irishman and have no liberal in you? Hey, EJ James says that we're going to have to change the name of ScotchCon. We're going to have to change ScotchCon. That's it's got to be called ScotCon. Because I'm a Scot and I'm proud of it. There you go. I'm an Irishman and I cannot wait to celebrate my our first St. Patrick's you know, Day together. You know, up in heaven. Debbie, he is going to be unbearable now. You know, he's that. already unbearable. Be well, being Scottish, <laughs> you know, right now, up in heaven, Chris well, is laughing her ass off. Why isn't she here? At Puta. Uh, well, That's the not right. Puta. Yeah, Puta. You know, Puta. That that that. What is it? It's, it's not big surprise. It's, metal, you're from, it's a metal. It's Puta. You're from the two angriest islands <laughs> in the history of Earth. The world. Of, I mean, just, world. I'm not, I mean, I'm just right human here. Earth, well, not, not other, other realm. Yeah. Well, I'm going to go pop open a Guinness real quick. And okay, I'm, I got to actually go do notes on my big Irish novel that's doing All right, Thomas, thank okay. you so much for joining us. Love you. What a pleasure. Great, Great to see you, Thomas. Thomas. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you, sir. This was wonderful. You were yeah, awesome in Twilight Zone. Ireland forever. You were awesome in Twilight Zone. Aaron, go, bra, Ireland. Okay. Anybody want to all right now? All right. So so it's it's hell, hell, yeah. Which means your house. <laughs> what is it? It's locked. So, so Grant, you know that my husband is forever going to be in a skirt now, right? A skirt. Kill. That's right. Like, look at me. Well. My husband is going to be in a skirt. Oh, but I have a. Every day. That's Every great. convention. What? Every day. Well, you know what? I could pull I mean, it, it off. It kind of has to, though, right? <laughs> I could pull it off. Can I? Kind of? It breathes well. I, yeah, I think, yeah. can. I think oh, my oh, wall might, might be, a, might be a blessing in disguise. Help me, Graham. Help me. Maybe because I'm short, too. It makes my average penis look a little bit longer. Does it not work? I right. want us three oh, legs. Well, well, wait a minute, <laughs> Billy. Billy, if you're going to go in all Irish, you got to know about the Irish curse. Oh, do oh, I don't have the Irish curse. Do I? <laughs> Oh I don't want to always cause it a micro penis. I have a micro me. penis now. Oh, oh. That's right. No, I would say you, that to Debbie's friends. lost two inches like, oh, with that micro penis. And her friends were like, oh my God, Debbie. Mm. Yes, I'm like, oh, you poor thing. Bill, Billy just They're lost like, Is that an Audi percent. belly button? <laughs> oh, no, I don't have a micro penis, but we're going to call my mum no, right no, now. No, no, yes, we are. We're going to do it on live. What? Yes, we do. We're going to call my mum. We want to do it live. Don't you listen to Thomas? You don't break the news don't to the elderly. It. Don't do it, man. My mother will love don't this. Don't do it live. Oh, fine. All right. All right, right, guys. Well, everyone out there, this, this was great. great. I'm yeah. still ish. It was awesome. Oh, okay. Well, I want to get a Guinness. I got a Guinness. Can I Can I pop a Guinness? And I just learned I'm Irish. I'm like a new baby boy. Well, Billy, only if you, you, only if you it. slam it. What? You, Billy, do you know what an Irish goodbye is? I do know the Irish goodbye. We have all of our friends do that all the time. Oh. Oh! Yeah, they do the eye. Oh! He's, oh, he's, oh, he's sneaky! He's sneaky! <laughs> oh, he's back! <laughs> oh, joy. so can I just have a Guinness? Yes. Go get your Guinness. Thank you. Okay. Get your Guinness. I have to sign off though, because I have milk. Point. I gotta go too, guys. See you later. Uh, well, oh back. wait! See Come back. back. Right. We'll, we'll say goodbye, guys. Goodbye. I love you all out there. This is so exciting. I'm going to call my mom now, and let's see how that goes. Oh. Hey, mom. I'm going to head out, guys. All right. Have all right. a good, good night, night. Have have a great night guys. Up. Congratulations, Billy. Yep. Yeah. And we'll see you. Grandma, you call tomorrow, bro. Bye, huh? Dad. All right. Bye-bye. Bye, guys. Bye, Bye everyone. Bye, Steph Wilson. Bye, Lord Ravener. Bye, TJ James. Yeah. Bye, Bye, everyone in the chat. Oh, my mother's calling me right now. Uh -oh. All right. Oh, Have a good night, night, everyone. My mother's calling me. Good night. Bye. Good night, everyone. Got my results. Tricked you. Oh. Oh. Mom, I just got my results, and it's going to blow your mind. <laughs> You're not going to believe it. I don't know. I talked to Vinny. I think he was going to listen to it too. Well, tell me, go ahead. I don't, well, can we do it live? All right, let's do it live. Can we bring it up, Niall? All right, Ma. Are you ready? Hang on. Okay. Can we make I'm that? Okay. okay. So I am Ma. Hey, Mom. Uh, how do I make that bigger? Let me make this whole thing bigger. Okay. Hang on. Uh, no, I I got it. Okay, Ma. Are you ready for this? I have eight things in me. Eight. Eight. What are their names? From who? Hang on. From who? That's what she Hang just on. Said. And one of them, <laughs> of the eight things I am, one of them is not French. One is not French. 
There is no French what in me. Other, what are the other eight? So what are they? Okay, you ready for this? Yeah. So I am 2% Norwegian. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I am 3% German, Ma. German? <laughs> yeah. I am. Go ahead. <laughs> it's my DNA. Okay, then I'm 3% Balkans, which is Albania, which is right across from Italy. Okay. Okay, then this is where the Lacortes come from. I am 4% Northern Italy. And I think that's where the Lacortes came from because the French are all. No, Lacorte was French. Yeah. Italy. I remember her telling me her father was French. Yeah, well, he's not. He's from Northern Italy. Well, what Northern Italy. What what part of Northern Italy? What is the town? Uh, you're looking at Verona, like Verona, where Romeo and Juliet are from. Oh, okay, go ahead. Okay. Oh, hang on, hang on. Then Ma, listen to this. I'm only six percent English. Oh come on, Billy. There's something wrong with that thing. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with it. This is from my. Well, no, you have to understand how it all works. Uh, Ma, I'll explain it to you how it all works out. So I'm 6% English. What Irish? Any Irish? Yeah. yeah. Then I'm 16% Irish. Yeah. Yeah. You're more on the father's side than the mother, but that's go ahead. Yeah, okay. Then, Ma, I am 24%. I am a quarter Scottish. I'm Scottish, which I've always wanted to be, and I'm a, I'm a. I want to be Scottish, oh God Almighty! Now we'll never hear the end of it. Now, <laughs> the end of it. Well, now Debbie and I, we were in London, and we met a comic fan, and he, he was Scottish, and he said that your your last name is Elliot. He said you're not English. He said you're Scottish. And he said, your family, and he gave me a book. And now I have friends, I have family, cousins, stuff in Ancestry. And he said they were lowland Scots, and they must have been kicked out of Scotland and settled in, in England. So we're, we're not, we're, we're only 6% English. I'm, I'm a quarter Scottish. And then the rest of me, 42%, is, Sic is Sicilian. So if I'm only forty-two percent Sicilian, that means she's not no, Sicilian. and four and and four percent Northern Italian, I'm only forty percent, forty-six percent Italian, and then the Balkans are three percent. So that's forty-six plus three is what? So no, th that's your side. They say it goes by the fathers, more the fathers in uh, ancestry than a mother. Well, well, basically. Forty-seven. That's that's about right. Yeah, well, no, you are ma. You are. I'm telling you what you are right now. You are forty-two percent Italian. You are four percent Northern Italy, which I guess is where the Lacortes come four from. Six. We don't have another. Four. No, four percent. Well, no. So that's Billy. forty-six Billy. percent. Six. And then you are three percent. From the Balkans. You're wrong. So you are 49%. You're wrong. You're wrong. That's not how it works for her. That's your DNA. That's not oh, hers. That's, oh, no, that's that's my DNA. That's my DNA. Because so she, if like if she's a hundred percent Sicilian, then you're only you're going to fifty. Grandma and grandpa were both Sicilian. Yeah. No. So you are. <clears throat> Uh, from Sicily. Well, they would double that. So, Ma, you are 84% Sicilian. You're 8%, you're 8% Northern Italy, and you're 6% from the Balkans, which is right across the Adriatic Sea. Yeah, that's 50%. That's 100%. 49%. Maybe there's something else in there. Maybe you're, maybe you're Norwegian and German, too. No, nothing about the Lacorte French. Nope, not French. It's, it's, there's no French in me. Ma, there's no French in me at all. I'm looking at for my DNA. This is getting personal. Yeah. All right. Take this off of the string. I know. You know, grandma. Three grandma, great grandma, and great grandpa. So that would be three generations away that were Lacorte. 
Yeah, so that's the that is got to be the northern Italy because look at it, it's all it's that's northern because the French did the French did settle in northern Italy. So never heard anything from northern Italy. Northern no. Sicily, yes. Northern Sicily, Castel Amad was on the coast up in the mountains. That's why they call it Castel Amad. It was a uh, uh, the uh, a castle on the by the uh, by the sea, sea by the sea. or by the mountain. I don't know something like that. Yeah. That was the only part of the northern, but it was all Sicily. Well, well, I'm I'm mostly Sicilian. I'm I'm so I'm I'm forty six percent Italian and twenty four percent Scottish, and Where's the English? only six percent English. They settled in England. They settled in England from Scotland. I'm Scottish. Oh, from the Scots, so they were more Scots than England. Yes. English. And they moved to England. Yes. Moms are the best. What is the, what is the I don't know. Well, Elliot would be the name because. Elliot, well, we met this guy. We met a Scotsman, and he told me that that Elliot is a Scottish name. He told us that. So. Oh. All right. I have to go. I have to go to another right, recording. Right, right, buddy. See you guys. All right. So. Two L's and two T's. Yep. Yep. So, all right. So, yeah. So, Vinny's listening. Yeah, yep. He says I'm Scottish, and and I've always wanted. Can I brought Blevins? So I've always wanted to be. And the funny thing is, is I've told Debbie since college, right? I've always wanted to be Scottish, and then I always, I don't know. I just like the idea because they're warriors and they're angry and they're just oh, kicking ass. Mom, mom, your son's gonna be in a skirt all the time. I'm wearing my kilt all the time, Mara. When Debbie and I renew our vows, all the groomsmen are wearing kilts. That's oh, right. Shit. God help us, Mom. So, all right. So, but then again, I'm 16% Irish. So, Debbie and I are going to go to Kavanaugh's. Where did the German come in? What are you talking about, German? There's German. There's six, three percent German. The DNA doesn't lie, Mom. The DNA doesn't lie, Ma. You know where it came from? It came from his godmother, Antoinette. She's German. Well, there you go. She's not related. She's not related to me. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Ma. All right, we're going to. It would be her. All right, Ma. I remember anybody. All right, Bill. I'll talk to you. I love you. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Talk to you tomorrow. I'm going to get in a fight in a bar tomorrow. Debbie, I feel sorry to you. You should, Mom. You should. All right. I'm going to call you and cry. Holy shit, I'm Scottish. Holy shit, Mom, I'm Scottish. How great is that? Oh, my God. All right. Bye. I love you, Ma. Bye. I told you I was Scottish. I told You're you. Still lying. I oh, I'm still. <laughs> I told her I was Scottish in college. And she goes, "You're not Scottish." And I had no. But I felt. I only spirit, had so your mother to go by. I was Scottish, and I'm a Scot, and I'm proud of it. And we're gonna go. I'm gonna go on Amazon right now, unless someone wants to buy me one. I'm gonna buy a Scottish flag and hang it on uh, Guy Fox Day. Vinny and Terry, I know you're watching. Vinny, Please I'm Scottish. Me. Please help me. I'm gonna call my brother Vinny. I'm gonna hang up. I'm gonna call my brother Vinny. How crazy is this? <laughs> Love you all. Thank you guys. And um, tally ho. All right. Let's see if I could stop. He has me full. I got to exit full screen. Full screen first. There you go. All right. Can I everybody have a great, great night? This was fantastic. We found out what I am. We found out what my kids are. If they are my kids. Sorry. All right. Love you guys. Good to see Bye. you guys. Have and a good uh, night, everyone. Tally ho. I'm Scottish. <laughs>